Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial by Elan Webb. I'm John Leandis, and I'm going to show you how to use Profolio, the WordPress plugin. So let's go ahead and get started. When you download the plugin, you'll notice a zip file called profolio.zip. Unzip that file, and you'll see a folder called Profolio. Open your FTP program, such as FileZilla, and navigate to the plugins folder, which is WP Content. Plugins. Drag the portfolio folder over and just drop it in and it will upload it to your server. Now that we've done that, let's log into the back end of our, of our WordPress site into our admin panel and we'll navigate to plugins and go ahead and activate the Elon Web Dynamic Portfolio. Alright, now that we've activated the Elon Web Dynamic Portfolio, I see a new menu show up on the side called Profolio. Go ahead and open it up and click on Profolio. And the first thing you'll see is some documentation and reference. If you forget the short code, it's right here for you. Let's go ahead and add the first project for us. We're going to start by adding a type. And for the purposes of this tutorial, we're going to just use WordPress plugins. You need to add a description, otherwise it won't save. So we'll just add the same thing here. Click Add Project Type and it will show up in a list where you can even edit it. Let's go ahead and add a client and for this we're going to add Envato as a client and the same list will show up here. Let's add a project and for our project title we're going to use Portfolio and WordPress Plugins. Browse for a logo and browse for a screenshot. We also need to add a description and some technologies such as PHP, CSS, WordPress, HTML, or any other technologies that are associated with your project if you're using it as a portfolio. Let's use a client which is Envato and add the URL and the year. Another cool feature of Profolio is the ability to add a project status of online or offline. You can also turn this off completely. So we'll choose off online and save the projects. Now we can go to manage projects and we can see our logo here, the title, the client, as well as the category or type, and the status, and we can also edit it if we want to. And we'll go ahead and take this out here because we didn't want that in there in the first place. We can also uh, change the project status here. Do we want to show it or not? And we'll click no because we don't want to show it. Update the project. Let's go back into edit. And that has been changed. Okay, so let's go on the front end and see if everything showed up okay. Looks like everything showed up fine. Filter by client. You can filter by year. We also have the pagination here, which we'll talk about in a minute. Open it up and we got our description here, as well as our technologies, our screenshot, and our logo. So it looks great. Now let's play around with some of the settings. Click on Folio Settings and let's select a theme here, the Mobile Black, save it. And we have the black theme here, green. This is the green theme. Red. Well, we can also create our own theme if we want to. In order to create our own theme, we need to navigate into the directory. So go into Profolio in your plugin folder. Click on CSS theme and create your own CSS file. But for the purposes of this tutorial, we're just going to go ahead and copy uh, mobile red. Okay, so just copy that and we can rename this to new style. Go ahead and refresh the settings page here. And we have new style here. We can select it, click save, 
And remember, we copied uh, mobile red, so we want to make sure that's the one that comes up. And it did. So that's how you can easily create a theme. Just place it into that directory, and you're good to go. We can also show client filters. We can show the year filter, the project status. We can also show how many results you want per page. Let's go ahead and just turn off the client filter here. Click Save. And let's take a look. All right, so we've got rid of the client filter, and now you can save some space if you don't need it. The last thing we want to look at is the fancy box options. You can set your title position. Where do you want your title to show in the fancy box? On the outside, the inside, or over? Let's go ahead and click over. Click Save. Now let's open it up, and the title now shows over on the fancy box. All right, so now you have some basic information on how to use Profolio. Remember, it's only $15. You can go to this website, profolio.elineweb.com. Just click on the badge here, and it will take you to the product page where you can purchase it if you haven't already done so. Thanks for checking out this tutorial, and remember, rate this plugin and comment on it and provide feedback, and that will help create future versions.